In this question, we are given with the following equation, where octane present in gasoline burns according to this condition. In the part A, we are required to find moles of O2 that are needed to react fully with 4 moles of octane. So for this purpose, we are going to do the comparison. And the comparison is done in such a way that the thing that is given is always written on the left side and the thing that we have to find is always written on the right side. In this case, we are going to write octane on the right side and O2 on the left side, C. C8H18 which is 2 moles and O2 which is 25 moles. Okay, so we are going to write it in this way 2 25. Now we have to find 1 mole of C8H18 needs 25 by 2 moles of O2 and 4 moles of uh, octane needs 25 by 2 multiplied by 4 moles of O2. When we are going to calculate this, the answer that we get is a You see, the answer we are going to get is 50, 50 moles of O2. You see that 50 moles of O2 are needed to react fully with 4 moles of octane. Sorry for the thing that I have not uh, written C in octane, but never mind. Well, the next question is how many moles of CO2 can be produced from one mole of octane? Again, we are given with mole of moles of octane and we have to find the moles of CO2. We are going to write octane on the left side and CO2 on the right side. Okay, according to the equation, there are two moles of octane that produces six moles of CO2. So uh, after the comparison thing, one mole of octane gives 16 by 2, that is 8 moles of CO2. So that's the answer. So we say that 8 moles of CO2 can be produced from one mole of octane. That is done. Now is the question number part number six. That is how many moles of water are produced by the combustion of six moles of octane? See, we are given with octane and we have to find the moles of water. Again, octane is written on the left side and water is going to be written on the right side. Now I am just mentioning the equation again. So that just to memorize you the equation we had already because it is not written over here in this page. So we are going to do the comparison and in that comparison we will see that C8H18 that is known is going to be written on the left side. You have to keep one thing in mind and this is this very thing. And H2O is written on the left, uh, right, left side. On the right side, sorry. So 2 moles of uh, octane is going to give, give 18 moles of uh, water and 1 mole of octane is going to give 18 by 2 that is 9 moles of water. So we say that we are going to multiply this 9 moles of uh, water with 6 moles of octane and we are going to get the answer that is 54 moles of water is produced by the combustion of 6 moles of octane. So it concludes that 54 moles of water are produced by the combustion of 6 moles of octane. Okay, now this is done too. Let's proceed to the last part. It is a bit different but not exactly because over here uh, the thing the thing that is different is that we are going to find out the grams that is mass if this reaction is to be used to synthesize 8 moles of co2 how many grams of oxygen are needed okay the next question is how many grams of octane will be used okay the thing is exactly the same 
over here we are given with co2 so obviously the thing that is known is written in the left side and the thing that we have to find is going to be written on the right side so over here since co2 is given that is 8 moles okay we are going to write it on the left side so according to the equation 16 moles of co2 and 25 moles of oxygen when we are going to do the comparison one a mole of CO2 is equal to 25 by 16 O2. So 8 moles is equal to 65, 25 by 16 multiplied by 8. That is completely clear. Okay, if 8 is given, we are going to multiply the equation, the thing, the fraction that we got with 8. So it is 12.5 moles of O2. So 8 moles of CO2 has a comparison of 12.5 moles of O2. But we are not uh, required to give the moles. We are going to give the mass. So according to the mass thing, we are going to use the formula that is moles is equal to mass by molar mass. Moles are 12.5, molar mass of oxygen is 32. We are going to cross multiply moles with molar mass, you see, to find out the mass. So after finding out it on calculator, the answer that is given is 400 grams. So 400 grams of oxygen will be required, okay, to synthesize 8 moles of CO2. Okay, in order not to uh, just mismanage my work, I used, I utilized this page. So again, CO2 is known, we are going to write it on the left side. Okay, just remember this thing, I'm, I'm already repeating it many times, 16 ratio 2 according to the equation 1 ratio 2 by 16 okay 1 mole co2 2 by 16 moles uh, octane okay 8 mole co2 2 by 16 multiply by 8 I, I this was very simple but still i did it on uh, calculator 2 by 16 multiply by 8 is equal to 1 1 mole of octane 8 mole moles of co2 when the uh, when we are going to synthesize 8 moles of co2 we will need 1 mole of octane okay so again finding the mass of it moles is equal to mass by molar mass okay we are going to find the molar mass of this octane since it is not as simple as oxygen okay so 8 multiplied by 12 that is uh, the mass of carbon plus 18 we get the answer that is 114 gram okay 114 gram per mole when we are going to multiply it with one mole we get the answer of mass that is 114 gram That's all about it.